teror. Are you hungry? You want your breakfast? Are you hungry? Yes? Do you want to see it? Morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day 13. Are we halfway through? No, we're more than halfway through because it's today. Today puts us over the halfway mark. Uh, yeah, so it is Friday. Um, I am working off site today. Um, I have so much to do, and I um, also need to get in the car at some point and drive to out east to um, East Hampton. It's about a, it's a, it's literally like a two hour and twenty minute or so. Sometimes I can make it in two hours um, if there's no traffic, but there is always traffic. Um, so it's more typical that it takes three hours. And a lot of that stop and go, which um, I use the stop and go, especially when we're stopped, to knit a few stitches. I don't really get a lot done, but it eases my mind. It's more like the process of knitting really relaxes me. It keeps me from getting, um, oh, what's the word, like upset or anxious that we're just sitting and I'm wasting time. So even if I, I, I mean... Maybe I'll get a row or two done, but it doesn't matter. That's not the point. <laughs> um, okay, so I think today I might have a couple little things depending on, um, it is gonna rain all day, so that could really put a crimp in, it's supposed to rain all day today and tomorrow, that could put a crimp in some of our um, plans to film festive things. 
but uh, I'll do my best and I will um, bring you, I'll do a better job than I did last year. If you watched last year, I will definitely, I have, I have some ideas this time around last year. I had no idea what I was doing, um, but I have some ideas this time around. Um, so yeah, so I am going to get some work done. I'm going to also work out, eat some lunch and then get in the car and head out. And, uh, I might, I don't know, well, I'm taking you along. So we'll see. We'll see what I get. Hopefully it'll be, this vlog will be more than just me talking to you. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs>of picking buttons for this um, sweater. Bear in mind that this is a rib knit and in blocking it will grow quite a bit. Um, so I would really love to put these on it. This is, um, these are smoke shell buttons. They're beautiful. And um, yeah, they'd be great. Only I have two and I need at least three. Um, yeah, I probably probably should use three. But the yeah, these are perfect. Look at them. They look great on the on the yarn. I love shell buttons. They're probably my favorite. All right, so I don't have enough of those. Um I considered these shell buttons, these ones right here that are sitting on the placket, but I think they're a little too big. Um even with the growth I'm going to get, they're just going to be too prominent. Um so I think that rules out smoke shell buttons completely. Um, I do have these jet buttons with that have a shank. Um, these are these are vintage. This one's dirty. I'll, I can clean that up. But I don't, it's too, yeah, no, not the look I'm going for. So, I mean, they, they're a little big as well. Um, I have these shell buttons, which are just regular um, pearl colored um, with like a greenish backside so and I'm not opposed to the backside using the backside necessarily but I don't think first of all I only need three and there's four of these I'm kind of don't really want to separate them but also I don't know if the color's quite right like if I hadn't trimmed it in yellow I could probably get away with them yeah. So that leaves me with this. This is a more, let me pick up a couple of them. This is a more modern um, sort of fake shell button. I had bought these out of Button Vendor in um, EYF this spring, this past spring. They have a little pattern on the reverse side. They're, they're like a fake shell. These are acrylic. They're not anything special. The other ones I was showing you were real shell. So, but I think this will work. Like, there's a little bit of a pattern to them, but I think, I think it's fairly subtle. Yeah, I think that'll work. I, and I don't think I need a fourth one down here because this is where it's going to attach to the, I mean, it's not sewn down yet, but it will be. Um, it's going to attach to the bottom. There will be a second band that I haven't knit yet. I'm picking the buttons first so I know the size of the buttonholes um, and where to place them. So there will be a second button band 
uh, our second band well, that will have the buttonholes and um, I will be attaching that as I knit right here. So I'll be picking up a stitch along here as I knit it. So it should go all the way over and then there'll be a little crossover here um, with the two plackets. So uh, yeah, I don't need another button down there. It'll just look silly. I think this is what I'm gonna go with, these, these guys right here. I think it's fine. There's a little bit of a pattern or texture. You do see them, you do notice the buttons. I want you to see the buttons. So I think this is it. Hey, I'm in the car, I'm heading out to getting ready to go to East Hampton. It is almost one o'clock, um, barely gonna beat any traffic. Uh, now it'll be like three hours instead of three and a half or 3.40 later. So I should make it there by four. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see. Take it Lee, New Jersey um, bagel with Taylor ham, egg and cheese for my lunch. Um, it's un I think Taylor ham is only available in New Jersey. Not available, like it's made here. And it was like an invention from here or something. Anyway, hope I don't get my white jacket dirty. <laughs> Thank you.